Yeah, hello again. Uh, everybody's been asking for a video of just the steps, so I'm going to just go through this. I've got some tips on the backing paper. Uh, I'll tell you about that while it's burning. Because I'm going to go from start to finish, all the way to cleaning it off. We'll do a little two-inch logo. Uh, alcohol, wash your glass. I've already done that. Save some time. You want as high a percentage alcohol. It just, it don't have water in it. It cleans a lot better. I'm using 3-in-1 oil instead of the WD. It hangs around longer. It, it stays moist. It For the bigger pictures, it seems to be working a whole lot better. For cleanup, goof off or alcohol. This stuff is permanent. You're not going to wash it off. You can get as crazy as you want with your cleaners. I'm preferring a day alcohol. And I just keep a fire extinguisher handy. You're working with a laser. Uh, yes, the picture in the background of the car, that is lit up frame. That is done with this method here. The other little Harley Davidson thing, it is done uh, with this method also. It's just, it's so quick, it's so easy. This is what I'm using for backing paper. It's thin, but it'll still work. The thicker the paper you use, the better. As long as you got a good coat of oil on here, it'll work. Uh, let me go ahead. Use that. All it takes. That's it. A drop of oil. And get your light off of it. You just keep spreading it around. Make sure you get everything coated good. Just want to make sure there's no dry spots. Circle if you have to. You just want to make sure it's even and you don't have a puddle. You don't have anything. When you turn this over onto your paper, you want to make sure it don't leave any wet spots. It's gonna. It's got to be tacked up, kind of dry. Let me turn on noisy on here. That's gonna have to home. Now we're waiting for that to dry. I'll go ahead and put the cutter and everything set up. That'll be close enough. What we're going to do is put your backing paper down. There's no science to it. Um, the thinner, if you're using thin backing paper, you want to be on a good surface. You want to make sure your paper needs to be against the glass all the way across. If you're using a heavier cardboard and stuff, it really don't matter to use a, a, a backer. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's still a little wet, but there's no damp spots, anything I'm really concerned about. We'll put a light on there. Height. I'm just going to slide the whole paper up. This is plenty of gloves. All I do is drop it right on the glass. And use that as your height. Backing paper, you can probably use anything, but the darker it is, the better the laser will focus. That's all there is to it. I'm going to hit start and find it once, make sure it's where it's supposed to be. I'm using 90 on the power and 20 on the speed, uh, millimeters per second. Um, there's lots of tricks to get in colors. I don't know if you've seen the grayscale. You, it's amazing what you can do with this 
with a laser. I'm not going to say this process has anything to do with it. Uh, I'm sure you can do the same thing painting your glass. I just think this is so quick and easy. There's no smoke. I mean, there's nothing coming off off of it. You can see it crystallizing. You can see they're just so fun to watch burn. Let me see if I can get you turned. This is just a small load. It's only three four inch tall, so it shouldn't take that long. Okay, backing papers. This is what I was using. It's it's a card, just a, a thin card stock. It's really not much to it. Now this is the back out of a picture frame. <laughs> it had the leg on it. I ripped the leg off. I was running out of stuff to use to try. It's a piece of cardboard, but it did, it didn't burn into the cardboard, it did great, did a couple of things. Now, for you, somebody was asking about doing uh, stamp pads. Let's see if you can get a good look at that. That actually left a 3D engraving behind. I know you can do that in wood, but maybe being with the glass on top and the oil holding and stuff in place. I don't know. This might open up some other doors. I know the possibilities with this are just getting started. This is fun. And she's almost done. And yes, if I'm going to do a sample, I might as well make my own. I'm sorry, that's too. I play with your logo. <laughs> if I'm gonna cut it, I'm gonna make it mine. They're gonna have the glass clothes and they're just. I don't know, just something calming and soothing about <laughs> watching these things burn. I'm enjoying it. Finished up here. Maybe. Come on. Colors are even. I don't see any. There's no dark spots. It's consistent all the way across. Uh, this was a PNG file, but I used three different colors of gray. To you'll see when it's when I wash it. It it, it engraves different level. It, it defrosts it different amounts for the different colors, but black and gray. It's just, we're just, I'm just learning, figuring out what I can do, stunts, and it's so much fun. Well, that's just straight out of the way. Now, I can tell it went through the paper, but that ain't gonna matter. See it burn the paper. And that's because my oil is still wet. I didn't wait very long enough. But it's still going to be this time. Last day here. Did you go 
up so you can see what's going on right here. That's why I say the thicker the card, more the better. It doesn't stain, it doesn't, it stays together really well. This one just fine. Get a good coating of oil on there and don't be in a rush, let it dry. Makes a big difference. difference between gloss there we go the thicker card stock you use the better you say it works fine The thinner stuff will work fine if you've got a heavy coat of oil. The heavier coat works. Um, enjoy. Look forward to seeing what you come up with.